Welcome to new Selfish Ass podcast. It's Selfish Ass release time version 2.2.0.29. The early express version is out now and I put it already on my Xperia X as well as even the Moto X2 ported device. So not everything is working here. Uh, all my Yola phones and Yola tablets and what, whatever. It's a very, very big release featuring a long list of changes. So let's get started and I uh, show you uh, the highlights for me at least. So first of all, the fingerprint support on the Xperia X is now finally there. It allows you to unlock your device with your fingerprint. When or during unlocking, it does not play a sound anymore, but vibrates instead. You can uh, re register up to 10 fingers uh, under the new security tab under settings for re registering uh, fingerprints and there it's very very easily just done like in android or uh, other or ios other operating systems basically uh, which is pretty nice fingerprint support uh, there's OTB, otg so usb otg support for audio devices which is pretty nice uh, let's take a look at how this uh, looks like There is an improved compositor performance on the Xperia X device and also some other devices have been improved in terms of performance. Uh, ZRAM is uh, enabled this, uh, the swap to um, allow more applications to run um, on memory. So you can swap out to ZRAM. The camera focus has been fixed. I already showed you a video how to fix this. So basically Jolla just put it in the new release. The camera frame rate for video recording is now variable. Uh, ISO 1600 is available. So for your low light shots, you can use this. Cute WebKit stutter has been fixed, which is pretty nice. Still the old version, not the new version 5.212, uh, but still 5.6 two or three or something like this. Um, if you have notifications for mail, SMS, audio or something like this, uh, they will play uh, back um, on top of music that you're listening to, like uh, podcasts or something like this. So it will not stop the podcast or the music you're listening to, but will play on top, which is a pretty nice a new feature in addition. And uh, finally, for the Xperia X, there is dual SIM support. So if you have a F Xperia X device with dual SIM, you can now use uh, both SIM cards, which is pretty nice. So in general, Alien Dalvik support on the Xperia X has been improved. In general, also the progress bar indicator is now available as a notification. So you can use it not only for Android applications, but also the native applications. They have the option to use a notification with a progress bar. Memory leaks have been fixed in Alien Dalvik. Android notifications don't wake up the display anymore if you don't have set them up to provide feedback via sound or vibration. The gallery has been updated. It has a new, completely new UI, uh, which allows you to easily swipe away uh, the uh, pictures and uh, click on share and so on. By the way, share, the share menu is new. Uh, it uses a new transfer engine and has the option to add a new account. Uh, there is support for WebPP and TIFF. So WebP, WebP format and TIFF in the gallery, as well as uh, video support for free GPP. Uh, then the UI in general, uh, let's take a look at the gallery. Uh, you can, um, in the UI in general, you have remorse timer that you can swipe away to commit and um, change immediately. And the UI also now allows you to set manually up an SSID for Wi Fi, which is pretty nice. You can manually add up a new Wi Fi network.
And there's the keyboard uh, edition. Emoji Keyboard Beta is now included, which allows you not only for Android applications, but also for Selfish S applications uh, to insert some of the most common emojis. Then there is improved video support. Uh, GStreamer streaming is now without stuttering, which is pretty nice, especially also on the higher bitrate videos. The calculator gained the support for allowing copying numbers. A file manager has a nice new support for extracting zip files. Not only zip files, it also has the option to um, extract targz and targxz files. Um, targbz two files, I think, also. But if you have a file that's that does not end on tar gz or bz2 or something like that, but just gz or something like this it won't open it won't recognize these files uh, contacts has been fixed the crash for changing the details for contact have, been, uh, have has been fixed uh, email gained a nice progress indicator when downloading attachments and of course you have the option to abort the download of attachments if it's a big uh, attachment and you have the option to of course also open up zip files uh, directly in the from your email application and there have been some mixed uh, uh, misks miscellaneous uh, fixes as well that you ca that I cannot show you unfortunately but yet uh, you have to believe me bluetooth uh, fixes a lot of bluetooth fixes for the Xperia X uh, device VPN is now out of beta VPN should be now very very, very solid uh, right now uh, some connection fixes of Phono has been updated so if you have connection issues or had connection issues in the past they should go away with this new release and uh, there's better audio support with Pulse Audio 11.1. So very quick overview of the new features of the Sony, no, Sony, <laughs> of the Selfish OS 2.2 release. Uh, and I'm very happy with this new release um, on my Xperia X device and the whole the other devices basically. So a pretty, pretty nice release. I will. Uh, post some other videos uh, fixing some issues that might uh, some people might have uh, when upgrading uh, again if you want to upgrade to the early access you need to have early access activated in your account settings and uh, of course if you have problems uh, togetheryola.com is where is basically the forum where you have to post your problems and you will get help as well as the telegram group as well as the IRC chat and so on so this is everything for this little overview of SafeJS 2.2 access version 2.2.0.29 uh, for those of you who are who wanted to know a little bit more about safe secure I think it's called I will do I will post another video um, exclusively on safe secure so this is everything for this little podcast for this little demonstration of safe 2.2 I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and until the next time bye